Hey humans, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this. So, hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous weekend. As promised, a <laughs> girl. It's a mother effing haul video. So, let me think. I have like one, two, three, four, five maybe yeah i think there's five items in my little mini haul today so maybe six one two three four five no it looks like five okay i i was thinking there was something else you know how that thing is that you know you shop and then you're like is this all i got <laughs> girl i know i got some stuff coming but you know me you know me okay so i am going to jump right on into this video because my videos are too long guys <laughs> Um, but I bought something from Fashion File, uh, again. Now, let's see. Are we in April already? I believe we are in April. Um, are we still getting these calendars? Okay, we're gonna find out. I haven't gotten into this because I wanted it to be a true unboxing. <gasps> oh, the horror. <laughs> Usually, I can't help myself, but this thing I wanted really bad, but I didn't want it as bad as I wanted like a bag so usually if it's a bag I rip into it with reckless abandon as you already know like a little kid on Christmas morning but girl I mean guys are they all different no they're the same ones right okay so there's what 15th calendar thank you fashion file so this had none of the frills okay i don't think no i don't think it did it comes in this little look how small she is that's what he said okay and that would be a good thing if somebody said that to me but sadly no one ever does it is a and I know, guys, I bought one of these from Louis Vuitton. I bought, um, what do you call these? Bandos, right? I bought one from Louis Vuitton, brand new, maybe last year or a year before. And I sent it back. But hear me out. Hear me out, guys. It is, on this side, the one of my favorite all-time prints that I don't even have a bag of yet. Someday I will get something in this but it's in the um infrarouge infrarouge it is in that red and black which is my favorite louis vuitton color combination uh, even beyond multicolor anything like that i just love really 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 wanted this just because of that i mean that is my and if i ever do <laughs> get the unicorn bag that i want in this print in the infrarouge or infrarouge um, this will go great on it, but I just wanted a piece of infrarouge and I don't know what man when I saw this I was like, oh, I know I have three other things on reserve right now, but who cares? Damn it. I'm getting it. So uh, I put it on reserve as well took the whole and girl. I mean I took the whole Two months. I always do. It's like filing your taxes, right? <laughs> if it says April 15th you best believe she's not getting those taxes done until April 15th midnight. I'm telling you, especially when I owe my money, honey. But anyway, I love this. I thought this was really, really cute. And for some reason, the one that I got previously was not as silky feeling as this. And that was a letdown. So I sent it back. I was just like, you know, I mean, they're affordable, I guess, as far as the Louis Vuitton item goes. It's affordable, a couple hundred dollars, but eh. I don't know. I just, I, I wanted this and I went crazy for it. Now, I do also love, um, Lisa, Lisa loves bags. She has a beautiful Amazon Speedy in the blue. <sighs> I don't know. It's just something about when they change, like, oh God, the new, um, coming out. By the time I've aired this video, this has probably already hit the stores. Um, but there's, it looks like a Barbie doll Speedy. It's the Speedy 20, like I have, but girl, but. It's one side is white with black LVs and the other side is black with white LVs. And hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. The sides are pink. <gasps> yes. So I, ooh, I think that's going to be like two or three. I mean, it's going to be 
almost three thousand dollars probably <laughs> i don't know i don't think it's dropped yet but maybe at the time of this video it has and people are unboxing it i wish one was me but what are you gonna do i gotta do what i can girl i bought enough right oh i didn't tell y'all scent of the mother effing day is the can you see it? it's chance okay my lotion i'm sorry i lotion and then i pick up my okay but it's uh chance by Chanel Otondra, the Otondra. And this is, to me, it's good. I like it. It's a fresh and clean scent. Um, I, you know, I don't have any problems with this. It's kind of mature, but sometimes I'm feeling like that. I'm feeling like, yeah, um, this old lady's going to put on some perfume. <laughs> but it's got like a fresh, clean, almost a powdery scent when it dries down. Um, fresh and fruity and floral when you first spray it. I love the first when it comes out of the bottle. Oh, yeah, the opening is, is so nice. But, you know, so many perfumes don't, I don't think any of them really stay what they are in the opening. But I love the opening of this. And then it dries down into a nice, let's see, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice scent. I do, I don't know that I will get this again, but you never know. Um, who knows? She's, she's got a dent in there, though. But, all right, girl, let's move on to the next item you remember when I bought some Tory Burch. It's been a month or two ago. I ordered a tiny, tiny, um, what the heck do they even call this? Miller crossbody in a, like a Nana. Remember I bought this last year and I have been wanting the tinier version of this. They make an even smaller one than this. This is for like your phone. But they make one that's like for a card holder. And I ordered one because it, it allowed me to, but that thing is still processing. It didn't charge me. I don't think they charge you until you actually get the item. So it's just out there in the ethers floating around, never coming to me. Whatever. Unlike Coach, who charges you and then never sends your crap. Don't get me started, Coach. But anyhow, I found this from Mercari from a seller. And girl, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Well, the one that I wanted, the one that I've been wanting for the last couple years um, was green. A real pretty like Kelly green. Oh, I loved that one. But shoulda, coulda, woulda, must not be meant to be because she never gets here. Tomorrow never comes for that. So I got this one instead. I got a really good deal. It's like I... You know how it does on Mercari, you can, you know, heart, you can put a heart on the item. Girl, that's what she said too. And then, um, you know, the seller will then decide, hey, I'll give you $5 off. The seller started at, I think, $110. And when she got down to, I don't know, 50 something, I mean, she just every day would drop it. Dun, 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 dun. And, I mean... She must have dropped it 15 times, and I was finally like, will you take $45 for that? And she was like, yeah. So, girl, yes, we got her. But seriously, it's like a glorified card holder. Oh, she stuffed it. I think she was a smoker. So I did have to put this in a... <laughs> I locked this up in my baking soda chamber with my filters and uh, stuff because... I got a faint smell of Marlboro Light when I first got it out, and we're not having that, girl. No, the devil said, no. The devil is a lie. We're not doing it. So, I love this. I thought this was super cute. Now, it's adjustable, but what the hell? Who is this adjustable for? Seriously, it's on the biggest, longest, and yeah, girl, she's, she's bosom city, but I really don't care on this one. Um, but yeah, it does come up to about right, yeah. Uh-huh. So, it's okay. I can deal with that. I like it. And I'll wear it in the summertime anyway with a few little cards in here. I love a tiny bag flex, and that's exactly what this is. I love it. So, yeah, I'm all the way here for that. I wish I could link one of these, but I, I mean, they're hard to find in this little, little, little tiny, 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 tiny. You know what I mean? Like, you can find these. But look at the difference in size. <laughs> this is like the micro nano or so, I don't know. Mm. But I just had a fit. I love. Y'all know I like tiny, tiny things. 
I think I tell you that every single time, right? Hey guys, it's Editing Winnie. Um, yeah. As I was doing this video and then I started editing it, guess what came in the mail from Tori Birch two months later? Yes, two months later. So yeah, we finally got it. Score. Now, as you know, it is spring and summer of scents. I've gone scent freaking crazy. Okay, um, I will show you the bag of the day at the end of the video. I think you're tired of seeing it, but yes, you guessed it, it's Mark Jenkins. Okay, I went back into her. Okay, I bought, I think I'm a gold member now, guys, on the beauty stuff on Dior. All right, score, that means I get bigger samples. That's what happened on this thing. The last time y'all saw me do, like, I think the video was called, um, a few weeks ago, what was it? It was, uh, I bought some things I didn't need or something like that. I'll post it up here. But uh, I bought some more Dior stuff. And girl, they sent me a bigger sample of this, which is called Ombre Nuit. Okay, which means Amber Night. I, I can't even get enough of the scent. I love it so much. <laughs> It is a great bedtime scent, and I think it's unisex to me. I think it smells girly or boyish. Um, I have already used it at night a few times. As you can see, I put just a teeny dent in there, but OMG, I love. <sighs> Man, is it good. Okay, so I think the only two real notes in this are like a Turkish rose and also uh, amber. And I'm a big fool, it turns out, for Amber. So, I love Amber, girl. Yes! And this thing had me at hello. But I really think this is categorized as a man scent. But I swear, girls, we can wear this too. It is wonderful. I mean, it's one of those things where you spray it on and you just keep going, oh my God. It's like, it's like an addiction. Like, you can't, like, I can't not smell myself. Oh my God. It's so good but anyway i could only afford to buy this little i don't even know how much i think this is like a one ounce i don't know if that's 30 mil or not but anyway i could only afford because it went from this was 125 girl yeah um and then it went to like 295 or something and then there was there was one that was like 490 i was like no girl just give me this but i can already tell you that this will be used and loved a lot especially when I go to bed I just love that scent it's just comforting to me I love it so anyway that was my big Dior purchase in my haul okay okay my battery died so thanks to autumn I have a spare <gasps> otherwise I had to go in there plug her in <sighs> wait what am I thought <laughs> but thankfully um, autumn sent me a spare uh, for Christmas last year and um, I am so thankful for that because now I can keep recording. Okay, anyway, you remember Dawn and I went on a scent, I don't know, exploration. Dawn is very, I meant to say this in my last video, but I didn't. Dawn is a very knowledgeable person about scents. She has a very refined nose. So when she says, hey, let's try these or why don't we try these? I always listen to her or, um, you know, take her suggestions because... She knows a lot, a lot, a lot about um, scents and niche fragrances, especially some luxury. She's put her nose on a lot of fragrance. And so I meant to say that last time, but yeah, I trust her so much when it comes to, you know, and we're going to, we, she and I are going to team up and do some more of these like testing things because I think I won't blind buy. I blind bought this. Thank goodness I love it, or I'd be out a whole lot of money. Now, I got this on Joma Shop, um, and I think I paid $200, which I know seems a lot, but on the side, I think it's like $335, $350, somewhere around in there, on the actual Parfums de Marly, um, de Marly sorry, Parfums de Marly uh, website. Go on there and check it out, but um, it is very expensive. So I got over $100 off of the list price by going through Joma Shop. 
and they're legit and they have tons and tons of fragrances they have tons of everything luxury so definitely go check them out i mean i'm not getting paid or anything i wish they would sponsor me because i'd go to town over there looking for stuff <laughs> yeah give me that send me that yeah but they do also have promo codes um i think you can use i'll try to post some down below but you can always get like um ten dollars off a hundred dollars or something like that so that's what i do but yeah girl i blind bought this oh my gosh i do love this I can't describe, <laughs> I guess I could go on and read the notes. Let me, let me figure out the notes on Fran, Fragrantica, or is it Fragrantica? I've heard everybody call it something different, but um, this is the Delina scent uh, from Parfums de Marly, and this is like, you know, their big, yes, this is their big seller, I think, but but the main accords, it says rose, floral, fruity, fresh, musky, green, aromatic, tropical, powdery, woody. Uh, the notes are actually, it shows lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, nutmeg in the top, uh, Turkish rose. Now, you see in a theme here, I love the Turkish rose in that ombre, uh, ombre nuit. Uh, peony, musk, uh, petalia, vanilla, cashmere is the base, cedar, Haitian vetiver, and incense. So there's a lot going on in here. I don't know what it is when I first spray this. It just gives me such a funky, like the first opening is really like, bam! It's like a sour, I don't want to say sour, but like just a sharp. And I like that. Now, I've made the mistake of overspraying. Um, I just am an oversprayer, girl. I just am. So I, this is what I do. I do ch -ch -ch behind my neck. I do each arm I do down the middle this is completely nude okay after I lotion up down the middle behind each knee and then if I'm feeling lucky I'll spray like this and then bend over and get my back because <laughs> I want to leave a scent trail or you know a big sillage or whatever but with this um the more you spray I figured out like it's not as good girl it's um I mean, it's good, but it's more like, uh, it's more of that rose. And I love the other stuff in it. And if you spray it a little less, I think I'll just do like one, two, maybe one arm and dab and then be done. Um, next time I use it, because I have used it once. Um, and I think that's a little, you're getting a little too crazy. It just leaves such a rose. But if you don't spray it that hard, <laughs> Overspray, yeah, just spray like three times maybe, maybe four, and be done because it goes a long, long way, girl. So, yeah, I did learn that the hard way. Uh, I just kept, I, I could smell, you know, and I like that. I like being able to smell my scent, but oh, that's what he said. But um, <laughs> it was just a little too much. I just got, all I got was rose the whole day, and I didn't get all the other exciting notes in there. So, less is more on this um so it's got the cute little rhinestone in the top i just think the bottle the packaging is so cute and it's such a package flex but who the hell's ever gonna see your perfume i mean y'all see mine but at home like who looks at you know what i mean like i guess you could take pictures of it and put it on instagram or facebook or whatever or twitter or talk about it on twitter right twitter you don't do pictures right I stopped tweeting because nobody followed me, so I was like, now forget this, we're done. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I stopped that a few years ago. But I just think this is a cute little, I love it. And now, because I taste tested with Dawn, I really, really want Oriana. And y'all know I'll get it too because that's how crazy I am right now with, with scents. I just want all the smell goods, guys. So. I think that's it for my haul. While I'm on the perfume notes, I do want to show a couple of things that I found on Mercari because Mercari is a great place to find scents. It's like somebody will spray a scent like this stuff. I saw a guy selling this for 160 the other day and it was brand new. Um, but you know, when it was a guy, I think, and he was like, I, I don't like it. Uh, it sucks. So, <laughs> I mean, he just basically said, sprayed it a couple times, didn't love it. You either love that or you hate it. I mean, there's no middle ground with it, I think. And uh, he was like, I'm letting it go because of that. So, yeah, you can find some really good deals on scents on Mercari. And I trust most of the people on there. Um, eBay, I did get a uh, forgery or a fake scent one time. 
and so I don't, I don't, we don't F's with that no more. I just don't. I mean, it, it's probably okay, but I don't do it. So, but I've never gotten into any trouble on Mercari, so knock wood. But the other day, this lady was selling two samples. Now I've found out, girl, that I can get the little tiny, what? I found the tiniest little good girl. I know I have this in a bigger bottle. Um, <laughs> Bill got me this for my anniversary, this scent. But how stinking cute are the little tiny bottles of... I love the mini bottles. Because y'all know I love miniature things. So I was like, uh, yes, yeah, send me that girl. And she also had a brand new sample of this. Which is just a little shrunken down bottle of... This is Givenchy um, Le Intradi. And look how cute. The little tiny... Oh, guys... I'm even more into the scents now. I really am. Okay, I've got to show you one more thing. I just wanted y'all to see these cute little things I got. Oh my God, I found them. I was like, oh, yes. I'm probably going to buy a bunch of the little tiny. I just think they're cute. Okay. Girl, my friends, Yota and Autumn, I mean, they are great, girl. Let me just tell y'all. Uh, so Yota went to visit... Um, autumn a couple weeks ago or week or, week or so ago anyway she's been back about a week um when i record this i don't know when this is gonna go up but anyhow um autumn and yota went on a big shopping spree and girl they got me something i am so terribly excited these girls and so um look a joe malone card y'all know i love joe malone i'm gonna get that nectarine and honey blossom i just hadn't haven't gone yet. Oh, it's so sweet. It says, Winnie, congratulations on reaching 5,000 subscribers. Yota and I got this for you. Uh, when she was in Houston, uh, we wanted to pick out something special for you while we were there, and we thought the colors on this would go well with several of your bags. Love, Autumn and Yota. They didn't say love, but I put that in there because <laughs> I felt love when I read it. Okay, you ready? Girl what is this for real Hermes or are they messing with me are they messing with me oh my god wait hold on okay what in the bleep girl is this what I think it is go with this ah, it will. <laughs> they know me so well. this thing is beautiful oh my god you guys I am so excited now I have two Hermes things what and I, I am I just like some rich biatch now I'm just like flaunting my oh hey how are you hi hey oh my god I love it look how cute thank you guys this will go with so many things I am so excited about that I love the print oh my gosh it's gorgeous there's a lot going on there and I absolutely love it thank you Hermes Paris the real thing guys thank you oh Yes, I love that this is not very long. I like that um, I can, because I think the Louis Vuitton ones are a little too long and too big, and you're kind of like, oh, what am I going to do with all that? But this I can tie on a bag easily and just make a little bow. God, I am so excited. I love this, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for thinking about me. That is awesome. I wanted to be with you guys so bad. I couldn't go because I, um, I have some family obligations and um, you know, I'm, uh, helping take care of a loved one. So anyway, that is why I couldn't go this time, but next time, girl, yes. And look what came in it. This little, I love samples. I love samples of everything. Scents, makeup, I don't care. I love a sample. Wow. It's nice to have such good friends. I've made such good friends on YouTube and, um, for that it is worth it. We don't make much money doing this, but we sure do 
have a good time and meet some special um great and loving people and that's what it's all about guys i had to come back <laughs> because remember when i just said i feel like i'm forgetting yes i was forgetting like one of the biggest things that i bought um i don't know if you guys ever deal with spray ground but i really love <laughs> all of their stuff and i don't think that they target me as one of their demographic a 50 something year old woman but i absolutely love their stuff um i think it's like like skater kid or i don't really know but but i know that my son who's in his 20s whenever i buy something always tries to take it because he absolutely loves the brand but they send me all these texts you know these little blasts of hey something new just dropped and they're always dropping something new so it's crazy but i bought i'm gonna take this one out um but i bought if you buy in a bundle so i got the backpack i got a bum bag which i don't know if i'm gonna use that i probably won't i might end up giving that to one of my kids probably or selling it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but um and then i got a like a duffel bag so I got all that for $175. So if I'd tried to got, you know, if I had tried to buy the pieces separately, I think I saved $150 that way. I want to say that, but I'm not, I'm not $150 sure. I'm not 100 100% sure that that's the case. But I bought this tiny little, it's not tiny, but it's smaller than most of the time I buy the great big backpacks. As you've seen, I've showed you a couple of them. I use them for a while and I end up selling them, but they're great for travel and they're inexpensive. So, and they look really cute, but check this one out. Of course it needs to be puffed out a little bit. This one, I, I just thought this was so great. I'll link them if they're still available, but you get a better deal if you buy them in a set. And then sometimes I'll buy them in a set and then I'll keep a piece and then I'll end up, you know, going on my daughter's um, selling page or whatever she's got and I'll, let her sell it you know what I mean so it's a win-win it's almost like okay I've sold those other two pieces now I've paid for this piece like ingenious but girl check this out should we do an autumn spin on this yeah we should And here's the bottom. In the back this time, sometimes it's like a, a canvasy material. Sometimes it's mesh. Sometimes it's um, like a faux leather because they're pretty cheap. They're not a, like a really expensive brand. They're very affordable, I should say. And sometimes they're like this whole like faux scratchy um, leather, it looks like. And this one's kind of like microfiber on the back, which is, I've never had one like that, but it's a smaller one and like i said when it's i'm gonna i'm gonna stuff this because see it's got eyes it's a little shark face and all the glitter and the swarovski or i don't know if they're swarovski i doubt it for this price but the crystalline i just love that i thought it was so cute and y'all know i've i've gone away from green and red bags and just totally glommed on to blue this year so anyway i wanted to pop back on real quick and show you these um, I'm probably not going to take these out of the pack because I'm not 100% that I want to keep them. But this is the little bum bag that came with it. Maybe I'll insert a picture of the trio there. And you can go online and check them out. I think they're still available. And I will link them down below. Um, but this is the little... It's like a, a Speedy 30 almost. That's the size of the little duffel bag. But yeah, it's got the two handles here. I'll just post a picture of it. But... Yeah, girl, I just thought I would show you these two. Um, this I love, and I might end up keeping both of those pieces. I'm not really sure how sure I am that I would carry. I know I would never do this bum bag. That's just not something I, you know, you've never seen me do a bum bag, and <laughs> she ain't gonna start now, girl. Oh, the old gray Mary ain't what she used to be. No, I've never done a bum bag because my bum's bigger than the damn bag, and <laughs> it's not a good look. Even this way, like, yeah, can you see my old grandma self walking around with a, hey, look at me, look at my bum bag, flex, nope, mm -mm, nope. Some people can get away with it, and some grandmas look great, 
I just don't. I just don't. I know my limits, and that is pushing them too far. If you can rock a bum bag, girl, tell me your secrets because I want to live through you. <laughs> Tell someone you love them today. I love you guys. I love all of you. And I'm so glad that you came and watched um, my crazy haul today. I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. I'll be back next week. I don't know what we're going to do, but it'll be something good. I promise. And listen, if y'all see my husband, though, girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Okay, guys. My mustache and my beard so soft and my chin whiskers <laughs> so soft and let me just tell you why <laughs> um so y'all know i bought that dior facial cleanser in the little it's amazing so that's in my shower right and then i also have in my shower of course my hair accoutrement so what i do is let me just tell y'all my routine here this is crazy but, you know, I get in there, get my hair wet, get my face wet. I do my face first, right? I get that out of the way. And then I wash my hair, and then I wash my body. And then I do a rinse thing on my hair with my, uh, it's like a, we used to call it cream rinse. It's like a conditioning. So, anyway, I think I got a little too much today because it's kind of greasy. But, anyhow, um, two times I've done this, and today I did it again so I went through all the things, you know, blah, 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 and I went to do the hair rinse thing, put a little dab out, it's the same color as the Dior facial cleanser, and it kind of smells a little good like that, and I use the exact same amount of my hair as I do my face, so of course, what did I do? What you do? With my um, hair cream, with my rinse, yeah, <sighs> so <laughs> my facial hair is very conditioned and very shiny and soft this reminds me of when we were in quarantine i think i told you guys about this that time I, um when we got quarantined i mistakenly found clorox wipes instead of the butt wipes and mixed those up girl um clean <laughs> yes sparkling but burning the burning on fire <laughs> No, you will never do that twice. Oh my God. Talk about the ring of fire. <laughs> Biatch. <laughs>